Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 3rd of 2023. Well, it is titled Charon, Moon of Pluto. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of one of the moons of the dwarf planet Pluto. And we see a number of structures on it, including a lot of craters, but also some other interesting features that show that the plant, the moon is more active than we might have otherwise thought. Now, this is a moon that is interestingly enough completely locked to the object it's or it orbits. Now our moon is kind of like this in that one side of our moon always faces Earth. However, from Earth, we get to see the moon rise and set. If you were on Pluto, Charon would just stand there in the sky and go through its phases staying at one point. So half of Pluto would get to see the moon, the other half would not. And just like half of Charon would get to see Pluto and the other half would not. Now again, in our situation, that's the case on the moon. If you're on the near side of the moon, the Earth is always visible up in the sky. If you're on the far side, you can't see Earth at all. So that's why all of the Apollo landings were on the near side. That's where we could would be able to communicate. Had they landed on the far side, they would have been out of communications with Earth. Now, this is imaged by the New Horizon spacecraft, which flew by Pluto and its system of moons back in 2015. And we are still studying the images and data sent back from that exploration today. However, we knew of this moon before. Charon was discovered in 1978, and the inset image to the upper left shows that discovery image. The large dot is Pluto, and the little bulge off to the upper right is Charon. That's where we were first able to detect it back in 1978. So that would be 45 years ago. In fact, 45 years ago this month, that Charon was discovered and that we found the first of the moons of Pluto. Now it kind of puts into perspective what you need to be able to really study these very distant objects. And that is that you need to be close to them to be able to get any kind of detail. Note how much detail we can get of Pluto and Charon in the inset image. You can't see anything except for a splot there. However, when we actually traveled out to Pluto and the and Charon, we were able to see far more detail. And again, those images give us our best images we have of that system. In fact, we knew very little detail about the system. Even more prominent telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope were able to get only a small amount of detail. We could see that there were lighter and darker areas on Pluto, but Charon was still much of a mystery until 2015 when we explored it with New Horizons. So that was our picture of the day for June 3rd of 2023. It was titled Charon, Moon of Pluto. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Look Beyond. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.